in the last episode we started getting into bees we got our draconic bee running here in the background he's creating us all these draconic combs which aren't being processed in our system just yet but that's fine and we also happen to go ahead and get into the one and only batania mod deep into the batania mod we go ahead and hopefully get the gaia fight going but we found out that we needed a bunch of other stuff before we could do the gaia fight and then we ended up having to wait till today to go ahead and do the Gaia fight. So now that we have everything, all we realistically need to do is grab ourselves another piece of terror steel really fast, which shouldn't really be too expensive, right? We just need a mana diamond, a mana steel, which I don't even think I have anymore. We're gonna have to make more of that. And then we're also gonna need a mana pearl. And I think that was mana pearls in the system, wasn't it not? No, that was mana powder. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and make another mana pearl. Also in between episodes, I built this massive mob farm, which is currently off because well there's a bug right now i think with draconic evolution and their dislocation receptacle it's causing my game to repeatedly crash and it's not really great so yeah i built that in hopes of finding a wild in which it ran for a while and i still didn't get any wild in so i don't think that's the way that you're meant to get them so we're gonna have to do a little bit more research on how to get the wild in but what we're gonna go ahead and do is take our mana steel our mana diamond and our mana pearl put it on said platform mana infuser like so and it should quickly make a piece of terror steel that we're gonna go ahead and use to click onto this guy right here to start the gaia fight which is gonna be probably easy enough honestly like i'm not really worried about it like we're super op right now right like look how much damage just one shot from my bow does it's actually nuts how insane this bow is and like i don't even have to worry about the wither or anything man we're just chilling man this this fight is so easy now that we're starting it this late in the game which is yeah a little insane do i have my guitar still i should have my guitar still yeah you two fight over there i'm kind of busy trying to find a weapon that i can absolutely destroy our faces with all right boys it's your time to get destroyed this is like the one thing that makes this guy fight so super easy is the Qatar like you just sit here and just do this while he drops all the mobs and you don't gotta worry about it right it's so cheesy i know but it is it is one of the weird whatever things you know all right bud come down let's fight wow that was actually fast i wasn't expecting it to be that fast usually it's a little bit longer than that but you know i probably also took a while to get this stuff as well all right where is my gaia spirits slay the gaia give me eight spirits thank you okay with that immediately done i am gonna immediately make another set of stuff and we're gonna go for round two okay and we're gonna do gaia two fight might as well right while we're here i mean it doesn't hurt to do it so we might as well just do it i mean we're in super broken busted op gear anyway so why the hell not and bam bam boom put those down and then the way to make the gaia steel ingot is just around a piece of terror steel with four gaia steel or gaia spirits and it should in theory make the gaia 2 fight which is going to be even more intense with a little bit more of a challenge rather now if i wasn't so op it wouldn't be as easy right so if i if i do this you'll notice the music changes and this fight is about to begin this fight is a little insane as you can see i'm not really too fussed about it honestly this fight would be a lot harder fun fact do you know that the Gaia is actually just a replicate of you actually cool your evil doppelganger all right let's go all right bud i'm not afraid of you all right i hit the freaking thing instead all right and then I need my guitar now. All right, good. Oh, I'm actually dying. He's actually hitting through my armor. You know, you can still die in Gaia 2 fight. I should have been more prepared with my gem armor instead. That's totally my fault. I thought I still had my gem armor on, but I forgot that I switched it to my unobtainium stuff because I am not a huge fan of the pants per se, but yeah. I don't know if I have my boots. Where are my boots at? Oops. Let's try that again. Thank God we only have, we have two more, right? Okay, let's go for round 
two this time and hopefully we don't get our faces wrecked this time i am in full gem armor now so i should be okay i think i'd also use this on him but i don't doesn't seem like i can i'm gonna try to stay out of the wither this time as i said as i walk right into it it's actually really hard not to walk into the wither stuff on this fight i don't know why but it's just so challenging also like draconic auto fire is so good i should definitely be invisible now look at how, look at how much more easier that fight was second time around more gaia spirits dice of fate yes 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 give me all the things give me all the things for gaia too please okay that means we can make even more adjustments yeah let me actually put my unobtainium armor back on and what else did you give me black lotuses good 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 all right so gaia spirit is all taken care of for the dragon soul beautiful all right what do we not have okay so we have basically these things to make so the dragon egg which i thought we had but i think what we can do at this point is take our dragon prediction model uh how much piglitch hearts do we have? Yeah, 25,000. I think that's definitely more than enough uh, piglitch hearts for sure. Let's uh, swap this back out for the Jamacola guy here. This guy here. And then let's get this guy going again, giving us a bunch of the hopefully things. I don't really want dragon's breath this time, I think. No, I want dragon eggs. Yes, yes, yes. Give me the dragon eggs. I think we have more than enough dragon's breath. Yeah, 200 or 24,000. That's probably going to be enough, I think. Okay. So we need to take an adventure either down occultism or the focus of summoning spell from Ars Nouveau, which needs these guys here, the wild and stuff, which I believe obtained by defeating the wild ch chimer. See the ritual summon uh, wild and thing. Yeah, so let's actually get into a little bit more deeper into Ars Nouveau. It actually isn't that bad. So what I think I'm going to do to get a bunch of source very quickly is I'm going to build another one of these farms again with the lily pads but for like wheat or something and then have the harvest dude harvest them and then give us a bunch of source so just a little update i built one of those you know nine by nine red fertilizer farms for wheat and i also put a agglomerate source link down and i've got a few full source jars now which is going to be helpful but to continue i'm going to need a vexing archwood sapling which apparently we have so i'm very pogged about that being a thing so i didn't have to go hunting for it but if i go ahead and grow this i should get the vexing archwood which we need to get the tablet of summoning wilden which is going to give us the wild and stuff that we've been looking for this entire time which is perfect i'm really happy that i decided to look for that and actually like look into it and we should be able to go ahead and do this now which makes me super happy okay so the next big real step is we need the ritual brazier which is gonna need a source gem block fair enough we are gonna need the ritual pedestals times i want to say like 16 or something or it might be nine or something i'm pretty sure the quest book says eight so i'm gonna make nine of these bad boys and hopefully that should be enough to go ahead and get things started here let's get the ritual brazier like so now i would assume all i gotta do is like do something like this and then put down the ritual pedestals all around this thing like so and then we do like a whole summoning circle thing I would assume it doesn't seem like there's an actual multi block, but I do want to do summon wild in, and it doesn't look like I can. Do I just put this on here and awaiting activation? I wonder how I activate this. Is there any information on the quest book? The ritual brazier is the cast. It can also be used for a decoration if you want to light up the brazier. Use a light spell on it to perform rituals. You need arcane pedestals as well, as there are so many rituals to cast. Make sure to check out each of them using the worm book. Interesting. This can be done by holding control on the ritual while the book is in your inventory. Okay, but it doesn't tell me about 
activation there we go okay wait oh wait i wasn't ready oh god i wasn't ready i need things hold on i need to make sure i get all of them i need you i need hold on i need I, oh fuck did i get the same one again the stalker the guardian okay no we have it hold on i don't think i got everything i needed i got the spikes i got the horns and i got these guys but i've only got two monsters here the guardian and the stalker i think i miss oh no wait because probably one gives the spike and then one probably gives the horn and the, the wings and the spikes that's interesting let me go make spawners of these guys and we'll be right back and just like that i expanded our little farm here and now it's summoning both dudes once i go ahead and get a vector play on top of this we should be pretty much good to go for the most part right so if i go ahead and put that down there do that activate those and then close the door i should start to hear all the dudes dying down there and we should get a ton of stuff oh yeah look at that look at them all die now perfect and now we should be getting all the things so the horn the spikes and everything did i grab the wrong okay no we're getting spikes i'm a bit concerned that we're not getting horns which is not ideal it might come from the little wolf dudes which means i'm gonna need another spawner and now we should be getting the horns right oh yeah okay perfect so i believe the next part of this is gonna be fighting the wild and tribute which i believe we take three of these guys like so and we put them on the ritual pedestal like so and then we do the whole summon wilden thing and it should indeed summon the new boss fight i want to say at least i thought it would oh i see what i did wrong okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to let me grab my wings perfect take the summoning tablet like so put it in here and then augment it with these guys right here and then we're able to go ahead and summon this bad boy that's how that works no oh there he is okay well he's literally almost dead and he's dead okay these guys are not dying with my single click here so where did my there it is wild in tribute perfect so we need that and then we just need well hold on do we have the enchanted enchanting apparatus yet i don't think we actually do have the enchanting apparatus so we're going to make that so the enchanting apparatus is actually quite simple and i guess i'll put that down let me pick this guy up we don't need him anymore well, at least at the moment we don't give me that horn back i am gonna need a few things though from ars nouveau those little table arcane platform things yeah we're gonna need those guys which means we're gonna need arcane these guys and i think i just take these and i just do that right beautiful would you look at that so let's go ahead and put down the enchanted apparatus and then do something like this 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 you know what? i'll just do a nice little nine by nine or three by three square like so and then the focus is gonna need a horn a spike and a wing a horn spike wing and then we're gonna need the wild in tribute and then we're gonna need a piece of gold and then that should be everything that we need here in theory for this bad boy right here where is yes and then a source gem block in the middle of the thing got it like so arcane core must be placed beneath this block oh the arcane core right let's make the arcane core so hopefully that's relatively simple to make it is beautiful so arcane core and then of course the enchanting apparatus wherever that went place that down like so and then maybe put this in here and then hit go and then that should be the spell focus summon for the wonderful dragon soul that we need oh my god it indeed is okay so we're so close to getting the dragon soul from the all the tweaks so we're gonna need a 
few things and the last thing is occultism of course it's got to be occultism and we haven't even touched occultism yet and i'm just oh occultism is a good mod though i'm gonna be honest it's very good okay so i think we have to start where do we even start with occultism uh dreaming with demons probably up here is my first guess yes the dragon fruit welcome to occultism this mod aims to help the player in many different ways by uh enlisting the help of demon spirits don't worry they're friendly mostly to get started you'll need to get some demon fruit seeds which i believe we already have uh the dictionary of spirits serves as the guide for occultism which we should probably make that honestly the dictionary of spirit is not too bad at all very simple stuff here we i guess we just start doing the whole thing okay so we gotta eat demon fruit which i think i'm just gonna go ahead and plant i don't even know if i can plant it on this stuff wow we don't even have that much demon fruit okay well that's fair can i just like plant this like here will this actually grow here it does look like it's gonna grow here actually that's kind of cool i didn't think it would actually grow here that's interesting so put the demon fruits i'm actually slowly running out of space over here which is not ideal now with the demon fruit planted all i really need to do is grab the demon fruit from the me system like so and then we need to so once i have the demon fruit this will uh be da, 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 third eye allowing them to see the other world interest with the its own seated ba, 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 ba. so i guess yeah we're gonna need a few things i'm gonna need to throw a dream and a demon essence this essence can be purified in spirit fire more on that later to obtain a version free from all negative side effects will remain uh retain positivity da, 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 ba, 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 ba. i don't remember how to do this okay so spirit fire is a special type of fire that exists mostly in the other place and does not harm living beings its special property allows you to use purify and convert certain items i think i just rightfully say i just light a demon fruit on fire i want to say that to be the case that's how this works here but i could be completely wrong uh i'm just taking a random guess here so if i go ahead and eat a demon fruit and then go ahead and toss one on the floor like so and then light it it should light the fire and i believe i don't see any side effects so yeah we're supposed to have like the demon fruit there's like a side effect that you're supposed to have and then candles yeah 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 with the tallow and all that fun stuff but if i do this and then i basically bone meal it the problem is i don't know if we're in the other or not because let me try throwing this in here yeah no that doesn't do anything what about if i throw a demon fruit seed into the fire here okay i think i have to bone meal this tree or let me eat another one there we go now we're in the other and oh wait do i have to plant it while i'm in the other i don't actually know it's not turning anything into what i want that did something what's that do that gave me oak saplings from occultism okay so don't do that uh that means if i go into this and then do this and then grow it will it then give me the demon wood it will beautiful and it also happens to have the emcs the next step looks like i'm gonna need to make a butcher's knife from occultism there you go we have the butcher's knife now so that's quest complete and i think this guy needs me to kill some some animals to get the which i'm gonna call it tallow that i need for said candles okay now that we've got a bunch of tallow and yes i had to make a pig spawner because the chickens wasn't working for some reason now that we've got the tallow i believe this guy turns into candles yes let me get a couple of candles like so we'll get 12 candles like so and then i think we gotta throw that's the wrong book we gotta throw this guy into the thing white chalk is used to draw the most basic uh pentacles 
such as our first ritual more powerful summoning appropriate uh more advanced chalk see chalk for information yeah 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 okay so the chalk up here no that's not what i'm looking for the brush the ritual thing uh chalk is that gonna show up in jei i would assume it would the impure white chalk is gonna be other world ashes and other stone which means i gotta figure out how i'm meant to get other stone and it looks like just throwing stone into the spirit fire well if i had just read the freaking thing it's not stone i'm smart it is totally andesite and i kind of feel a little stupid but you know what it is what it is we have our moments so eat the fruit and then toss it into the spirit fire oh yeah well that's how you get that that is how you get that i wonder if it works outside of the other i mean i guess we're about to find out right like if i come out of here okay perfect it also works in the overworld so we can totally automate that if we totally need to but i can go ahead and craft or at least automate this process i have taught our system how to make the impure white chalk but before we can even do that we need to go ahead and grab ourselves some demon what is it called again for this guy so the burnt other wood is going to be the other world wood here from the emc thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a bunch of it and then just like toss it into the fire like so and that's gonna give us a bunch of that stuff which means i can go ahead and make the impure white chalk now and then that impure white chalk is then gonna go ahead and go into the fire like so to get turned into white chalk beautiful which means i should be able to start to make our very first ritual which is super exciting we're gonna need other stone and sacrificial bowls okay which we technically have a bunch of this now so i don't really have to worry about cheaping out honestly because we've got plenty of that stuff we really don't really need too much of it honestly so let's go ahead and do that that and then let's focus on making some of the other stuff which is going to be the ritual thing and then we need to oh we need two stacks of it okay fair enough i can go ahead and do that that's not terrible and then take this guy and then surround it with gold go to make the gold plated stuff man we're really doing this this late in the series and it's really easy at this point right because well we're almost like you know got infinite resources and all that fun stuff all right so we need to take uh so wait what do they want us to do i guess they want us to do our very first ritual which is gonna take take a book of binding of some kind so throwing a uh, black dye into the fire so we should have black dye infinitely now i don't know if i have enough it doesn't look like i have enough but guess what i've got enough of the uh mystical dye essence to just say screw it oh god that's so much oh boy that's a lot of uh <clears throat> purified ink holy heck that's a lot of purified ink and then book of binding i Yes, they want the basic full yacht of some kind. Awakened feather, which means, okay, I gotta throw in some feathers now into the little mix. I actually gotta grab this from my EMC table. I'm just gonna throw in like a crap ton. By the way, occultism's really sick. You can get some insane ore processing. I don't know if you guys remember when I did the ftb skies like we got some pretty high-end ore processing from just the occultism mod which was freaking sick there we go we are gonna need the book of binding which means that's not the one i'm looking for which one is the one i'm looking for i am smart it is just a very simple and easy like thing to do there you go give me a bunch of those and then i guess i'll just only do like a stack or something that's gonna be more than enough for what we're trying to do the book of binding and i believe you then do that with this with your book perfect and then what is next after that that you link it with the book of the spirits and i guess my first ritual is gonna be here and i think what we can do now is visualize the ritual which is beautiful so we'll go ahead and place that down like so and then it's gonna require us to put down one candle two candles three candles and then four candles and then of course the 
summoning plate in the middle and then we're gonna write on the ground with some beautiful chalk like so and then we should be good to go beautiful and then i believe we take our book and all right we need the uh what are the things here the these things not these things the these guys and then we take this look at what it's needing so it needs three six of these we only have four so if i just do something like this and this and then we do some sticks and some string we should be good to go right so string oh boy we're getting into occultism this is like top-notch stuff now i think it was four of these two string like so and then we should be able to put this book in the middle i'm gonna try something else here i'm gonna see if this is the right one i don't know i mean i was going based off the book but the book doesn't seem to be helping me in any way is this the right one it is aha so i was using the wrong items all along that's why it wasn't working i was like this is definitely right and also don't forget you can take tick accelerate right? this to make it go faster as well which is freaking awesome and boom we got a little crusher dude oh my god yes he can crush ores and stuff beautiful okay so now that that's done we can get better chalk with gold dust and glowstone dust so if i just grab some gold really fast i guess i can make gold dust because that's one of the things that we can make because we need speed upgrades and then i just need another impure white chalk which is easy enough and then once we get those two things, we should be able to combine them with some glowstone dust. And that should give us the yellow chalk now. Yeah, the impure yellow chalk, which means that we can get up to a better and bigger rituals. I'll throw that in there. Beautiful. The gold chalk with the white chalk. This is the ritual that we need. We're not quite there yet, but... We are going to need some purple chalk, which is fine because we can totally get that, I think. It shouldn't be too hard to get purple chalk, I hope, but I'm going to try my best to get it here. And we're going to need some of those candles again. I don't know how many candles we're actually going to need here. Is this a candle? This is not a candle. I don't know what that is. But that's definitely not a candle. So there you go. Get those guys like so. And then get your gold chalk out like so. And now we just got to figure out how to get purple chalk, which purple chalk probably is a bit more tricky. So obsidian dust, crush and stone and then of obviously impure white chalk okay so i need crush obsidian and crush and stone crush and stone dot wait hold on is it and stone dust or is it and stone it's crush and stone dust which means we need to crush our spirit with and stone got it and by the way these guys work by you can also shift click them and put stuff in but you could also throw your items at them and they'll pick it up and then they should in theory start spewing out items right yeah beautiful okay so now what i gotta do is again make impure white chalk again and do the whole process again so two obsidian dust a, a crush and stone dust a white chalk will give me the impure uh purple chalk throw that in the fire and then that should give me everything that i need for this now the only thing that we do don't have and we don't know what is yet is the items here that are in the corner also we're missing quite a few things it looks like because it's saying that we're at 48 of 53 49 of 53 which means one so 50 51 52 53 okay so those are whatever in the corners of that we need to figure out i believe it is a spirit attuned crystal and that's gonna need diamonds to be thrown into the spirit fire like so and then those get turned into these spirit attuned crystals like so and then we take those bad boys and we place them down like so beautiful and that is everything that we need for this ritual awesome now we just need 
the empty soul gem which is going to require diamond sand so wait three four five six seven eight of these okay that's fair i'm gonna need soul sand which i should have plenty of by now yeah soul stone nope i want soul sand and then we're gonna need copper silver gold and diamond okay so copper silver gold and diamond and then i need to figure out exactly which book i need copper silver diamond gold and then uh soul sand i'm gonna need more white chalk to go here and i think that's all we need for this Oh my god my inventory is absolutely messed up so i need this guy i don't know what book i need here we go this one which needs this one which needs this which needs cactus green dye can i make cactus green using dye seeds i don't even know actually okay fair enough and then i just need you to make one of these and then that gets converted into this and i think we should be good to go oh yep perfect and i think ladies and gentlemen that is the last item that we need for our dragon soul i want to say i am pretty hyped about that if that's the case boom an empty soul gem and a dragon soul is now craftable beautiful would you look at that the dragon soul guys has been crafted that is one less item to deal with the atm star we are getting awfully close to the atm star oh my god but with that being said guys unfortunately i think it is time to wrap up today's episode so with that being said if you guys did enjoy today's episode of all the mods guys please do me a huge favor smash the like button smash the subscribe button ding down that notification bell become part of the 100 tribe as always guys i love you i'm gonna leave you until next time we're gonna be posting all the mods nine bye bye just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how